hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel in the previous video we have added some ai in our enemy character so now if i run my game you will uh, notice that on the uh, basis of our character position our enemy will decide whether to move left or right so now if i move uh, left our enemy will also move left and similarly when we move right the character will move right so now we need to add jump functionality because right now if you can see that if our player is on this second floor so we need our enemy to uh, jump when from uh, this position to that position to follow our player so uh, to add this uh, what we need to do uh, so uh, uh, i did some uh, extra things in my game so uh, first thing you need to do is go to your character and change its scale to something like 0 0.395 so it looks uh, better and the uh, same with the enemy character i have also uh, change the scale to 0 0.395 on all the axes x y and z now one other thing that you need to do on your enemy character is go to the rigid body component and make sure that its mass is 5 because on our character we have mass 5 so <clears throat> after that uh, now uh, when our player should jump so uh, we need uh, some kind of trigger to allow our player to jump so uh, let's say if our character is at this tile so our enemy will move towards right to follow our character and when our enemy reaches this position so we need our enemy to jump because if our enemy is uh, right below the player and if he jumps he will hit this tile so we need some kind of trigger points on each of the location to uh, allow our enemy to jump so uh, to do that i have created an empty game object that you can see here and i have added a box collider 2d on it and i have named it jump and make sure that its is trigger property is true and also uh, don't forget to tag this game object with jump so if you don't have a jump uh, tag you can uh, go to this window and add tag here and make sure that it's applied to this object now uh, what i have done i have uh, duplicated this object as you can see that i have duplicated this jump object and i have laid my uh, all the uh, trigger points on each of the uh, position where we need our enemy to jump so uh, one of them is here so when our enemy will reach here it will jump to this same we have another trigger point here and on the up tiles we also have trigger on both of these and on the topmost we don't want any trigger because we don't want to jump higher because there is no tile on the up so after that you need to uh, go to your uh, enemy character and uh, this is the script that we have wrote in the previous video so now uh, what we need to do i am going to create a new function as you can see right here and i have named it ai and now i am going to cut my follow code that was that is this if else condition and i am going to cut it and put it in ai function and i will replace this with ai in the fixed update and paste it right here now 
now we need to add the jump decision so we only want to jump if our kitty y position so uh, these are the properties that we wrote in the previous video so kitty dot get y position will return the y position of our uh, player so uh, when our player y position is greater than our enemy position which is transform dot position dot y then we have to jump but we have another condition we should only jump when we are colliding with any of this jump trigger so as i told you earlier if we are our if our enemy is at this position uh, so we don't want to jump because it will hit this tile and uh, our uh, code will not work as expected so that's why we only want to jump when we hit one of this trigger so uh, let me for now disable all of the other jump objects and just put this one right here so now we want a boolean to allow our enemy to jump only when it hits the jump object so for that we are going to create a new private boolean variable so private bool allow jump which will false in the start and now we need to uh, define on trigger enter and on trigger exit so i have already wrote the code and i will simply put it right here so you need to add this code these two functions on trigger enter 2d and on trigger exit 2d so make sure to write 2d with that because we are working in a 2d project and also in the argument put collider 2d so what we are doing so we are simply saying if we are hitting this if we are hitting the jump object then we need to say allow jump equal to true we are allowing our enemy to jump so if we are exiting from this trigger then we don't want to jump now in our ai we are simply putting a second condition here and allow jump so if our player is position uh, player's y position is greater than enemy and enemy is allowed to jump then jump so now let's test this functionality so as you can see that now our enemy successfully jumped now uh, there is another problem so let me disable this jump object so as you can see that our enemy is very quickly switching the directions this is because when our uh, when the character's position when the enemy position is smaller it will switch left so when it switches to left there uh, a small change in x axis will occur so that's why 
now he is uh, continuously deciding to move left and right when it moves left and uh, move a little towards left the any uh, the uh, player's position will be less than this position so he will decide to move left so to fix that to uh, add some threshold what we are going to do is in our ai script we are simply adding a small amount of threshold let's say 0.65 f now and in the else we will replace this else with our else if and we will simply say plus and change this greater than to this sign now what we are doing here you will notice in the gameplay so we have added a, a small threshold of 0 0.6 to our enemy so that's why he is now considering 0 0.6 units and uh, moving left and right <clears throat> now let's enable all these jump and let's see how our ai is doing now you will see that our enemy has stuck this is because uh, the uh, there is no jump object here so let me So as you can see that it's stuck in here so he's trying to jump but failing so uh, you need to uh, design this scene very intelligently and uh, you have to uh, consider the uh, distances so right now you can see that when we are jumping here and when we are reaching at this point we are switching that direction because when then our and uh, player will be on the left side so our character will face towards left and so this is stuck in a loop of jumping so uh, we will fix that in the later video in the next video maybe so uh, one thing that we need to we can do is so when we are jumping we should not switch our direction so let me put it right here so uh, this is the code in which we are changing the direction so on the top we will simply say if is grounded only then we want to switch directions right here now let's see what happens So all of the other jumps are disabled so let's enable them so now you can see that we are so now the character should jump from here because we do have a collider here 
so let me increase its size So there are a lot of things that we need to fix in this game and we will fix them but uh, for now uh, I think that's enough and we, I will see you in my next video.